today's video is going to be the do's, don'ts, and oh god, please don'ts of first hit making. Because much like the last video, I've been a bit miffed lately due to the amount of stupidity I've seen everywhere. Alright, without further ado, let's get on with it then. Do. Take your time and do your research. Don't. Pull a last minute job and rush through your suit. Oh god, please don't. Not even bother to make an effort and throw it together with a bunch of materials you have on hand. The amount of effort you put into your suit has a direct effect on how it will look when you're done. Don't try to get a suit out in the, in the period of time an experienced maker would. Take double or even triple that amount of time so you can make mistakes and learn. It frustrates me so much when I see someone rush a suit because it could have been so much nicer and just... Do. Take your time and sew your fur together. Don't. Use massive stitches which means your suit will fall apart. Oh god, please don't. Glue your fur together. Don't glue your fur together. Please do not glue your fur together. You lazy asshole. Sew it only. Don't be lazy. I get so many comments about this and it infuriates me. Sew it. It's not that hard to learn. Do. Talk to makers and look at their tutorials. Don't keep messaging makers after they've not responded or said they didn't want to talk to you. Oh god, please don't spam makers with hi, 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 and then get salty when they don't respond. The amount of times I get spammed with hi's is absolutely incredible. Please don't do that. Give me an actual conversation topic or I probably won't respond because I've got but I've got other people trying to message me about fursuits. Do. Experiment with new techniques. Don't. Experiment with new techniques on your commissioner's fursuits. Oh god, please don't. Experiment with things like actual fire breathing or spitting acid. Experimentation is great and all, but please be safe and use common sense when doing so. But to be fair, this is the furry fandom. Idiots will be idiots. Do. Buy high quality, reliable equipment. Don't misuse your equipment. Oh God, please don't. Use your equipment for something it wasn't intended to do. Equipment misuse can lead to uh, electrocution, third degree burns, explosions. I just saw someone on Facebook who may have to have their pinky amputated because they dropped 400 degree hot glue on their pinky. No, <laughs> be safe when you use your equipment. Do, buy high quality materials. Don't. Use secondhand stuff like old couch foam. Oh god, please don't. Use cardboard. Okay. Posing myself. Let's just take a step back here. Um, why do people think it's a good idea to make a fursuit out of cardboard? It is such a stupid thing. There is literally no way you can justify a cardboard fursuit unless it is a one wear only suit. Some poor maker ended up gassing one of her customers by accident by trying to waterproof it and the heat from the wearing turned the sealant into a toxic gas. And if it's not the attempts to make it work that will hurt you, it's the mold. Mold can make you very sick and cardboard is the best place for it to grow. Don't make cardboard fursuits. Don't make cardboard fursuits. Don't make cardboard fursuits. Do not make cardboard fursuits. But Sky, shut the hell up. I do not want to hear it. Do, share your work with the community. Don't, shove it in everyone's faces. Oh God, please don't. Start thinking you're better than everyone else just because you're a maker. This is something I've seen happen to a lot of new makers. I like to call it new makers, new makers ego. I'll admit it happened to me. It basically means that you think you know everything and everyone else is wrong which couldn't be further from the truth. I had a friend of mine suggest a different method of shaving and I got rather triggered when I was in my new maker's ego phase. How dare they suggest something to me? They aren't even a fursuit maker. Oh, I had a new maker argue with me that Play-Doh was a great material to use for paw pads and they seemed to get rather upset when I tried to point out why that wasn't such a good idea. Just be aware of it because it may well happen to you. Alrighty, those were the do's, don'ts, and oh god, please don'ts of fursuit making. Now, you may be wondering, Sky, 
where the heck are you right now? Well friends, I am on holidays. I'm in a small surfing town of New South Wales and I don't think the locals have ever seen anything like me before. So I will be making a fair few videos down here which I will queue up when I get home and actually have internet. <laughs> but um, Patreons get access to them as soon as they're done. So why don't you join them for just $1 a month? You can come chat to me, have input on videos, as well as see them all a day in advance or maybe even more. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.